YouTube, I got a banger for y'all today, man. Do you want to unlock this goat mask? Yes, this goat mask right here. This is probably the most rarest item you can unlock in NBA 2K24. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in less than 24 hours right now. Before we get started into the video, just take one quick second. Make sure you like this video. Also, subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications. That way you don't miss a single upload. Wait, is that is that current gym back there? Anyway, let's just get right into the video. As you can see, I just got an achievement called the GOAT. That is for literally winning all seven rings and championships. And then boom, I just got another achievement. Seven rings to rule them all, which means I completed seven championships. I completed seven my career stories in the NBA 2K24. And the big question is, is bees. How did you complete seven seasons and win seven championships in 24 hours well there's quite different ways that you can actually do this you can play the full my career all seven seasons and play every single key game all the way through playing five minute quarters 12 minute quarters i wouldn't recommend that that'll take you what three four months maybe if you do it that way so if you really want to go ahead it really only takes 24 hours using my method i completed this in 24 hours and I know life did. I ain't gonna lie to you. I sat here and I, I watched a couple YouTube videos, turned on some Netflix, and I just went crazy. It is very repetitive. It's it, it, You get nothing from this but the go ahead. This is not an exploit. This is not cheating the system. The settings I recommend to complete seven seasons is your game difficulty. Make sure you put that on rookie, man. You hardly, you don't miss on rookie. If you do, I mean, we gotta, we gotta get you a jump shot, my boy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Make sure you put the game mode, or the game difficulty on rookie and your quarter length on five minutes. There's no reason to have quarter length on 12 minutes unless you're just trying to chase some crazy stat or you don't even have to do stats like that. There are some games, there are some games where you have to play all the way through. You can't just do my method and then you know, just expect to get through. It's not going to happen. It's going to make you do games and games and games. You're going to have to play these key games. But most, I'll say 90% of your key games that is going to force you to go into and actually play, you're not going to have to play the entire game or even play any of the game if that. For one of these methods, I do recommend that you have at least a driving dunk or standing dunk, a build that can dunk. But if you can't dunk, for this entire method to get all the way through and actually coast through all your games, I do recommend a somewhat decent three-pointer. I did this with an 81 three ball. You can do it with a 78, 79, 80, 81. It doesn't matter. If you want a 99 three ball, that's up to you. It just depends on how bad or how fast you want these games to go through and how many points you can actually score. All right, once you start your season, you're going to advance the key games. You're going to go ahead and start simming, spamming X, A, if you're on PlayStation, Xbox, it doesn't matter, but you're gonna sim through these games, man. You're gonna try to sim through these games and try to get as many as you can. It's gonna hit you with a key game. I think I'm gonna get hit with a key game right now. Yes, I got hit with a key game. So you have to play that. You can't skip this, you can't sim it, you can't do nothing. You have to play the game. To get in the game, all you gotta do is walk through the tunnel inside of the arena. As long as it's lit up blue, you can get inside of the game. All right, so here's the part of the video you've all been waiting for. How do I do it? Well, first off, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a foul. That is the pretty much, you're gonna foul out. That That's the fastest way to get these games over with. I'm gonna run up to them and I'm gonna foul them again. But I then realized halfway through like season two or three, there was another, there were two other methods to getting this, these games done quicker. I would start off in the beginning of quarter one and I would just shoot until I got takeover. Once I got takeover, you can foul six times without it skipping each quarter. So starting second quarter, the Wizards is going to throw the ball in. You're going to get your third foul of the game. Then you're going to get pulled out again and you won't come back in until the third quarter. So you're going to be sitting the entire second quarter. Now the third quarter has started. You're going to pop a shot. You miss it. You can just quickly do a foul. If you make it, they're just going to inbound and you just foul on the inbound. That'll be your fourth foul of the game. After simming your fourth foul, you're going to come in in the fourth quarter and you're going to go ahead and start the fourth quarter. But... You're gonna do the same thing you did in the third quarter. You're gonna, they're gonna inbound the ball. All you gotta do is just call the shot, bring it up, pop it. Once it goes in, you miss it, you foul. They're gonna inbound, you're just gonna foul right here. Boom, that's your fifth foul. 
Then they're gonna take you out of the game again. Then after simming, you're just gonna, after you've only gotten take out for like, what, a minute, two minutes, you're gonna come back into the game. This is, you're gonna work on your sixth foul. You're gonna, gonna get inbound to the ball, pop a shot, boom, that goes in. And then all you gotta do is foul off of the inbound. I don't know why I'm chasing that dude. All I gotta do is just foul. Go foul him. Go foul him. Go foul him. No way I'm gonna play the rest of this, right? I guess I'm gonna play the rest of this. After finally realizing that I messed up and I should have fouled the first time, I miss a shot and I come back and I foul. And then all you gotta do is just sim to the end of the game. And then boom, that's the final. This all in all took about five minutes, give or take. But if you do the other two methods, so the other two methods is, is you can, if you have a dunk, like a driving dunk, standing dunk, you can just call for the ball dunk the ball, hold on to the rim, and just take two techs, and you foul out for the game, which takes like two, three minutes. Or you can do the other method where you just get takeover, which is shooting like three, four shots, you get takeover, and then you just foul out six consecutive times. Like I said, it's a very repetitive thing. You're gonna be sitting here doing this for 24 hours, probably more, two days, three days. It depends on how fast you actually wanna get that go ahead and just get it over with. But doing that, it, it takes about two, three hours per season. Once you get the gist of it and you start making, scoring a lot of points, your my player ends up scoring like 100 points each game, which is actually crazy. You get like 30,000 points at the end of the seven seasons. And on top of that, all you got to do is just play the key games that actually matter, which is breaking records. Once you do the breaking records challenges, you, you don't have to do those anymore. So what I recommend is is highly just going all in on the games that you have to break records. If you got to break that record, break the record. Or if you don't, you're going to have to play the game the next, you're going to have to play the next game until you break the record. And then you're able to sim like 10, 15, 20 games after that. But that is the method. Uh, I'm going to add the cutscenes at the end of this for all seven championships. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. That way you don't miss a single upload. With that being said, I'll see y'all tomorrow on the next one. Here's the cutscenes. Thank you. MP, congratulations on the championship. Thanks. Thanks, Kendra. Can you talk about having your father join you for the press conference? Was that his idea or yours? His, for sure. There's no way I was going <laughs> to let him sit up here and take credit all by himself. Do you have any idea how many times I shagged balls for this kid at 2 a.m.? <laughs> that's true. That's true. But it's only because he felt guilty he didn't work nearly as hard when he was in the league. Oh, I want to tell you about them false narratives. Come on, now. <laughs> no, no. He knows I'm just playing. Oh, man. Uh, look, uh, to be serious, though, it was my idea. Um, I wouldn't be here without my family. They're everything to me. Not just my dad, but my grandpa. Y'all you know, know him as Truck. But to me, he's always just been grandpa. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he was around so much that he honestly was like a second father to me. And, um, you know, he was always supporting, always teaching. I just wish he was here to see this. Anyway, uh, next question. Uh, please, you, 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 in the back, in the back. 有人说您是继已故科比·布莱恩特之后在中国最受欢迎的NBA运动员。您对这件事有什么感想? There are some who say that you're the most popular NBA athlete in China since the late Kobe Bryant. How do you feel about that? Uh, wow. <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna get into who's the most popular, but anytime you're mentioned in the same breath as someone like Kobe, that's a huge honor. You know, he was my hero growing up. Uh, excuse me? After, after my dad, <laughs> calm down, Pop, okay? <laughs> Obviously. Um, most kids, you know, worship LeBron, and he is a GOAT for sure, but I always loved Kobe's game. Aesthetically, it was just beautiful basketball, you know? And his approach to winning is something I try to emulate as much as I can. Um, I've got a lot to accomplish before I reach that same level, but 
To be mentioned with him, that means everything to me. And if people in China love me like they loved Kobe, that's incredible. Because Chinese fans, they know ball. Shit, shit. Thank you. Hope I said that right. Thank y'all. Yeah. All right, on that note, good night, good night, good night. Thank y'all, thank y'all. Yo! Thank y'all. Lisa. I've got to ask you about jumping on the scorer's table. Was right. that a tribute to the late Kobe Bryant? Yeah, to Kobe uh, and MJ. They both did it when they won their fifth, and I wanted to do it ever since my dad showed me clips of them celebrating when I was a kid. How early did he show you those clips? Early? What? Two? Yeah. Two, yeah. three. <laughs> In the womb? <laughs> <laughs> he always believed I could do something like this, maybe before I did, and uh, he wanted to inspire me. Sir, ¿cuántos campeonatos más puede ganar? How many more championships can you win? Uh, gracias. You know, I always want to top MJ6. That's always been my goal. And uh, listen, I don't know, but beyond that, who knows? I just know I got a whole lot left in the tank. Thank you. Gracias, gracias. Thank you. Let's go. Ready? Come on. MP, you seem very calm. Can you tell me about that? Uh, I'm just thinking about what it means to tie him. Six titles. What does that mean to you? It means a lifetime of work, a lifetime of belief, a lifetime of dedication. But you know what? We're not done yet. Me and my pops, we always dreamed of winning seven times. So, you know what that means. We won away. <laughs> Thank you hey. so much, MP. We won away, fellas! Won away! Come on! Won away! Won away! Won away! Here we go. We did it, bro. There's no question. There's no question now. Seven. Seven. 
That's seven. Come on. That's seven. Let's go. Thank you, thank you, MP. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. So, seven championships, one more than Michael Jordan, the man many would consider the greatest basketball player of all time. What does that mean to you? <laughs> uh, man, that's a good question. Uh, this is something me and my dad, uh, what, talked about since I was a little kid. And as I've said before, you already know, uh, seven has always been the goal. And now that I'm actually here, <laughs> man, it's hard to believe. Uh, all right, who's next? Lisa, what you got? So, am I hearing you right that you are saying you are the greatest of all time? Mm. Uh, listen, you know, I know everybody's going to have a different opinion on that, and everybody has a different definition of what great means to them. But as far as I'm concerned, yes, ma'am, I am the greatest to ever do it. ¿Qué les dices a los que dicen que no eres el mejor de todo el tiempo? Gracias, appreciate you. What do you say to those who say you're not the greatest of all time? You know, that doesn't bother me. You know, I'm not one to check socials and all that. And I get why someone would say it's MJ or LeBron or someone on that level. But I know deep down that I've got the most talent, uh, the best work ethic, and uh, the best competitive spirit of anyone to ever play this game. And listen, those guys would probably say the same thing about themselves if you ask them. You know, it's that kind of confidence uh, is what it takes to be an all-time great. And that's what I am. I am an all-time great. We here. Be clear, my boy is the goat. That's greatest <laughs> of all time. Yes, uh, yes, sir. Gary, what you got? This is actually for Prince. So, and P's got seven championships. How many more do you think he can get? How many more does he want? <laughs> not eight, not nine, not ten, not eleven. Listen, keep listen. Going. We're gonna talk about it tonight, and we'll let y'all know next time. All right, appreciate y'all. Good night. 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 Yeah, talking to my mirror like I love you so much. Curving on my critics like I heard you so what? You can't kill my confidence, I think I'm the man. Tally all the fucks I ever gave on my head.